Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Genesis if you're new and this is Wealthy On Purpose. And on this channel we are very intentional, beautiful, and just very purposeful about what we're doing with our money, our finances, and learning about financial freedom, being transparent with each other, all of the above. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you stick around for the rest of this video. I will be doing a cash stuffing today for the second week of September. Um, I am a 20 year old, fiance, dog mom, a college student, and I'm just trying to learn about financial responsibility and build a nice loving community here on YouTube. So if you want to join my family of loving and supporting people, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But today we are cash stuffing around $1,690 today. So let's go ahead and get started with my wallet. You guys, this week, it was a little much, okay? I'm not going to lie. It was a little much, but that's okay. Um, I know last time I saw you guys, I was telling you that a 10 would be in this envelope. And unfortunately, there is no 10, but there is money in here. So let's see. We have a leftover of one, two, three dollars. But before I get into actually talking about the leftovers, let's get rid of the change and the receipts. I'm just running into things, y'all. It's it's a lot. But we have a lot of change this week. So I'm really excited. If you guys don't know or if you're new to my channel, I have four different mason jars. So let me pull them up. You probably can't see them. But they're mason jars for each type of coin. And what I do with my chains is I just distribute it so that when it's time to roll up the change, um, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and put that in. You guys gave me so many good ideas about what to do with my change. So thank you so much if you commented on my last video. You are the bomb.com. And thank you guys for always returning to my channel. I do respond to every single comment because I love you guys and I want to learn from this community. And I just want to build something so beautiful. And I'm just all about that. So thank you guys so much for keeping it nice and lively because it really means a lot to me like i wake up and i'm just smiling at the comments so if you watch my channel just know you really make my day so now that we're all done with the coins i do want to show you guys like look at the pennies i just started this in august hello and even my quarters like they kind of trying to do something too like yeah so i'm really excited what i plan to do is once they get full or it's the end of the year i will redeem them at the bank you can request at your bank like coin papers and the bank will give you the exact amount, which is really nice because um, the coin star, I do not like the fact that it takes some of your money, but you know, we move. So let's go ahead and get back into it. Okay, hopefully you guys can see. And then if you're new to cash stuffing or you're just starting make sure you download fetch rewards for all your receipts i'm gonna leave a video right here on the side i do it every single video but if you already have it make sure you share it with your friends and family every receipt counts for points in the app and then in the app you can redeem those points for gift cards to like amazon any place that you want honestly and even clothing places food places walmart you just get money back for the money that you already spend. So make sure you're doing that. I love Trader Joe's, y'all. So of course, that's in the front. We got Sam's Club, Costco. I did a lot of spending, but all from my envelopes, which I'm really happy about. So let's go ahead and put these to the side. And let's move into this wallet sugar bun. So like I said, I was supposed to have a 10 in here because I know I was doing some radical spending. But today I had no food and I was literally starving. So I had to go get some. I did not pack my lunch. It was completely on me, but I will be doing something different this month just to see how it ends up. So all the rollover in my wallet, I'm gonna leave throughout the weeks. And then at the end of the month, I'll do an unstuffing and then put that all in my savings challenges. I just feel like unstuffing my wallet every week and putting the rollover in my savings challenges is leaving me feeling like, wow, I don't have any money. So I have $3 left over in there. Let's see what household has $1, um, which is crazy. Like, I feel like I budgeted just right for that. Sage and Cairo, they also have $1, <laughs> which is so crazy. Um, groceries has nothing. Gas has nothing. Miscellaneous. I think the rest of the wallet 
is bare bones. Okay, so let's get into the stuffing portion of the video. So today I'm getting $25. And this is added on to what I already have just because I want to see like what this can accumulate to and then put that all in the savings challenges at the end of the month. So now in my spending, I have 25, 6, 7, 8. So $28 for my personal spending this week. Ooh, yeah, I got all the way to the end of the week and then I just I forgot my lunch and I just cannot function without food. So I had to get something. So 25 for me household i hope you guys can see household is getting let's see twenty dollars so we do need dish soap my fiance he keeps complaining i oh, don't have any dish soap and i'm like we have more than enough but he doesn't think so so household has 21 dollars, and it probably will be getting spent on dish soap so that he stops complaining <laughs> i don't know i grew up or not that I grew up because my mom watches these videos and she's going to be like, girl, I didn't raise you like that. But I am just a very frugal person and I am a person that I'm like, I'll use it to the end. Like, I'm not going to buy something if I still have it. So it's the same thing. Like if the soap is just like a little bit like you, you might as well use it. But that's just me. Let me know how y'all grew up or if you have that same kind of mindset or if you're just like stock up. I rather have five dish soaps. I don't know. Anyways, Sage and Cairo is getting $80. So they're going to get a 50, a 20, and a ooh, and a 10. And they actually need dog food. So I'm I'm over my dogs right now because y'all little niece and nephew, Sage and Cairo, I'm gonna put a photo of them right there. They are going wishy-washy on their food, and it's like one of my dogs loves it. And my other dog, he is getting sick like he started having like a sour stomach and my poor baby he was just so sick so i'm like what do i do because one of them loves it and she's doing great on it and now he's like not thriving on it and i'm so tired of trying new food so let me know down below if you have pets what do you feed your dogs i do try to feed my dogs pretty healthy food i would say like the ingredients are pretty good and i don't know but right now they're really doing too much so y'all better get y'all niece and nephew together so Sage and Cairo now have 50, 70, 81 dollars for their food. I just I don't know. I feel like I they're just so spoiled and they know like they can pick and choose what food. Cuz I feel like most dogs they're just accepting like whatever you put in front of them, but my dogs they have preference, girl. They they're not going to play. Groceries is getting skipped. I just stocked up on my groceries, so we're good gas i'm actually going to be taking out this envelope you guys i no longer will need a gas envelope i have just found and this is the beauty of cash stuffing because i've been going back and forth and i just put money in here and then i go to costco and costco obviously costco gas doesn't take cash and so i just have to go deposit it back into the bank and i'm like might as well save myself a trip so i won't be using this envelope anymore so i'm going to put that to the side we'll probably make it something else fun Miscellaneous is getting 10 and this is just for any, you know, unexpected purchases, anything like that. As a new cash stuffer, I feel like my miscellaneous, I need to start putting higher amounts because it varies like what I'm spending and there's, I never know exactly like I'm still adjusting my budget weekly. And so having a higher miscellaneous is definitely important. So yes. And then eating out is getting 30 we yeah we eating out is so expensive like i remembered why i don't like eating out it is because it is so expensive my fiance went and got us breakfast the other day it was 35 dollars for like a croissant and i don't know i think he had like a breakfast burrito i was like this is insane so i did put 30 dollars in here just because it is my fiance's birthday week next week and you know we want to be celebrating for that and then oscar is getting same $25. Y'all, y'all need to get y'all need to get y'all friend Oscar. He been spending his money the same day he gets it. <laughs> he spends it on a plate of food. But anyway, Oscar now has $25. I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, he's you know a better spender than me. And then other times I'm like, he's out of control. So y'all better get y'all. Y'all better get y'all friend. So that is it for my wallet. And this wallet is linked down below if you're interested in purchasing one of these. I did get this from a Etsy seller um, and I really like it. So yeah, I definitely recommend. 
So next, let's go ahead and move into our short-term savings. And that is my favorite, all-time favorite mushroom binder. I love this binder, you guys. If you're new to my channel, I love mushrooms. They're my favorite thing in the world. So yes, let's start off with rent. Rent today is getting $850. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh and 50 so i this was a week where we got paid three times me and my fiance do get paid weekly and so it's really important we cash stuff weekly because it's a lot of money to handle so yes we're just stuffing a little bit more in rent so rent now has one two three four five six seven eight nine hundred one thousand so nine fifty one thousand and that's a perfect amount for it being the second week of September and I just love stuffing my rent you guys it's the only bill I stuff and it's because I cannot like my I don't know my purchasing habits I cannot have this money sitting in my account without me thinking I can spend it so that's that on that and then beauty which is my girls trip this is like when I want to go splurge at Sephora that is getting a cute little 10 bucks today so beauty now has 10 15 dollars and i believe i have a mushroom tracker for this envelope if you guys didn't see my last video i talked about these new savings trackers that i started just to keep me on track with stuffing so let's see oh yes here it is so i'm gonna have to color in a 10 i guess i can do that with you guys right now and i'm already letting you guys know this is gonna be a longer video because i just feel like a little chatty kathy today tonight at least so let's color in that 10 and i just love mushrooms you guys oh i did not mean to do that <laughs> is anyone else left-handed like i've been watching these videos and i'm like okay none of these people are left-handed but me like you guys can barely see sometimes like what i'm doing but yes that is our cute little mushroom and you save a total of 100 dollars when you complete this savings tracker and i just made this myself nothing too fancy we're gonna slip that right back in there and move on so sage and cairo for their grooming and all their other needs they're getting ten dollars just for any toys and just to save this back up i did purchase them a toy last week so this is a little bit depleted but that's what it's there for date night is getting 55 and i'm going to be doing two 20s a 10 and a 5. so as i mentioned it is my fiance's birthday next saturday and we are gonna be going out to eat sushi together for his like birthday brunch. And so it's really important to me that we put aside money for that so we can budget. So date night now has 20, 40, 55, 57. We don't ever spend the $2 bill because it's something that he specifically gave to me a long time ago. And I just keep it in date night because it, sim it signifies like our love and whatever so that's that and me and my fiance we've been together since the eighth grade so it's been a while we're actually coming up on 10 years and i'm like hello i think we're at like eight years this coming up year anyways personal hygiene is not getting stuffed i did make an online purchase and so i just put the money i was going to stuff towards that and i'm not going to be stuffing it on camera clothing is getting 80 dollars today so it's getting a 50 20 and 10. So as you guys know, me and my fiance are really trying to revamp our closet because we still have clothes from like sixth grade and that's unacceptable. I feel like when you get around like 18 to 21, you're just changed so much and clothing is one of those things. So last weekend we completely decluttered our closet, but now it's time to replenish that. So clothing has 50, 70, 90, $100 which is a good start. I feel like it can replace a lot of the like socks and like things like that pretty easily. So clothing is now stuffed. Gifts is going to go ahead and get $30. So a 20 and a 10. And I did purchase his birthday gifts already. Some of them he don't know and he's in the room. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about it, but yes, gifts is getting $30 shopping that's just getting 10 this is just for any miscellaneous shopping i want to do at target um anywhere honestly 
and it can categorize anything I just shop for and I want crazily. So I haven't stuffed that previously, but today is getting $10. And that is gonna conclude it for our shirt short-term sinking funds. You guys cannot tell me, like this binder is just everything. I love, love, love mushrooms. How cute. And then I also love like the moon and the stars. How beautiful. Okay. So now that we have that handled, let's move into our long-term sinking funds. All right. So we're going to start off with travel. And let's see. Travel is getting $30. So a 20 and a 10. And travel we have a few different things we want to do so right now we're just saving up for it but just know just know in this upcoming end of the year and early next year we definitely will be going on some vacations so travel now has 50 70 80 95 100 dollars and i believe if i'm not mistaken ooh, don't act up this binder has a lot of seven challenges so yes, it's gonna get another plain colored in. I don't have a pencil. I will be using pencil on this one so I can erase and start over. But the total is gonna come out to, if it will focus, it's, it's gonna get $900 at the end of it. So we will be coloring in another plain, which is really exciting. So that's that. So yes, travel now has 50, 70, 80, 95, 100 dollars, which is perfect. I feel like travel is doing what it's supposed to do. Okay. Birthday is gonna go ahead and get five dollars. This is just me saving up for my birthday. So let's see. I believe I have another tracker for that as well. Okay, yes, so this is the first time I'm actually gonna be stuffing it. So let's go ahead and color it. I am a Pisces, you guys, so of course it's the two fish and you basically color in the fish as you go. So since I stuffed a five, I'm gonna go ahead and color in one of the five slots. How much do you guys usually say for y'all birthday? Like $500, $200, $100, like what's a good amount? Like this tracker is 250, but I've never really like saved for my birthday. So I don't really know what's a good amount and it is in six months. So I feel like I could save $250 in six months. So that's that for the birthday tracker. And we're going to go ahead and put the first $5 in that envelope, which is really exciting. Unfortunately, I just started cashing cash stuffing last month. So my fiance's birthday did not get this this year, but don't worry, next year when it's his birthday, we're gonna try to ball out, okay? Car tags is gonna go ahead and get $20. So, car tags now has $20.45. And this is for next May and next July. So, we have time for this one. Slowly but surely. Vehicle maintenance is also not getting stuffed. We had to go and buy oil because we thought a family friend would be doing our oil change but plans changed and he indeed did not do it so we're going to be reallocating these funds and hopefully we'll be able to get an oil change soon emergency is going to get 20 dollars today oh i had two envelopes so emergency now has 20 30 and this is just for extra emergency money um, if we are just in need of some cash right away if our family is in emergency we want to be able to help people out and also help ourselves if you know something happens it's always important to have like an emergency fund and a good savings set aside holidays which is my christmas binder is gonna get 25 and y'all know my motto for Christmas right now. I'm just saving what I can and that's, you get what you get, you don't throw a fit. Christmas for me is not, you know, like, you can get gifts throughout the year and I don't have kids or anything, so I'm not gonna be pressed if I can't get like great gifts. So we're gonna save what we can and leave what we can't. So Christmas now has 20, 40, 65, 70. And I'm really excited to like start cash stuffing in the beginning of the year. Like I never did it for a whole year yet. I've only done it for this month. And so I'm just 
looking forward to like what I could actually do because it just is so exciting. So that's what's in Christmas. Membership renewals is not getting stuff this week. Extra debt is getting a 10 in the envelope, but I did make a debt payment on like, I just left the money in my account so I can pay it. So we are currently, I think we currently paid this week, maybe like $200 towards debt. And I think we're down to like 500 left. So yeah, we're just gonna go keep paying that down as we go. YouTube is gonna get $5 and y'all, I love y'all for real. So I have another YouTube channel. It's called Dear Visual Diary. And that is where I'm more like myself. I post cleaning content, I post college content. I post content about my hair. I just post a lot of content. I talked about um, my car getting broken into and it's just very more personal on that channel. And this is my cash stuffing channel, but I know a lot of y'all been subscribing. So thank y'all so much for supporting me everywhere y'all can. It really means the most to me and I see you and you are valid. And I just love each and every one of you guys because this community, we're here to support each other and lift each other up. So YouTube is gonna get $5 today. And this is just for any camera equipment, from any giveaways I wanna do for my people, just anything in general for my YouTube. So we have five, six, seven, and $8 in YouTube. Yeah, I just started YouTube this year, you guys, on my other channel. And I am currently trying to get monetized on that channel and also on this channel. So we'll see where that brings us. But yeah, I'm just more focused on like, building a community it was never really about the monetary gain it was always about building a community and having a safe space for people so if you want to support something like that make sure you subscribe to this channel and that channel because yes i love to have you okay i love to talk to you guys in the comments i reply to every single comment okay next we have insurance deductible and that is getting ten dollars this week y'all know car got broken into my car also got rear-ended earlier this year and insurance is just it's crazy and you have deductibles so it's important to have money put away just for that so i have 10 15 dollars it's a small amount now but let me tell y'all when they come in they're like you have to pay 500 dollars for this you have to pay a thousand dollars for that it adds up and this is all because i'm fully insured which is so crazy to me so that's 15 in deductible deductible <laughs> Medical is getting $5 today, and this is the first time I've stuffed this envelope. My copay is $10, I believe, so nothing too crazy. I don't really go to the hospital too often, but I do wanna have something put away just in case of a medical emergency or anything of that nature. Engagement is getting 15, so like I said, I did get engaged earlier this year and we want to have like an engagement party i want to get engagement photos and just anything that has to do with our engagement is going to be coming out of this envelope so it now has 10 15 and 20 dollars which yeah after being together like throughout all high school throughout middle school it's very important that we do our wedding in a way that's very memorable and beautiful so yes First home is going to also get 15. So yes, we are saving 20 K for a down payment, but this is just for all the ooh, Don't run away from me. Little 10. This is just for all the furniture. Um, and just, you know, decor and stuff like that. So our saving challenges is more for like the down payment, but this is just for like furnishing and making the house a home. So it now has 10, 15 and $20. And I think that is it for the long-term savings. Per. All right, get that all together. And then we will be working with our last and favorite bind, one of my favorite binders is our savings binder. So if you guys don't know, I am doing two different savings challenges right now. I'm one of the kind of people like, I can only focus on two things at a time. I can't have like seven different savings challenges. And I also feel like this will help me complete them a lot faster. So this first one is just my $5 savings challenge. Any of my rollover money will be going towards this. At the end, you save $260. But like I told you guys, I'm not doing rollover until the end of the month. So this one is actually not getting colored in today. 
However, this one, this is the one I'm gonna be using for the down payment on our house. So let's go ahead and flip to that one. And I'm gonna have y'all right here. So let's start with coloring. That seems like a good place to start. So we're gonna be stuffing four boxes today. So let me choose four different colors. What are you guys saving for? Let me know in the comments, like what is something you're actively saving for right now? Like, do you wanna go on a trip? Do you wanna go, um, do you wanna get a house? Are you trying to move out? Like what is your current saving goal? And what motivated you to kind of push more towards it? Or when do you plan to kind of finish out that goal? I'm really curious because it's so beautiful to me that everybody can have like different, you know, goals in life and just be at different times in their life. So yes, let's go ahead. So we're stuffing box number 100, which I'm trying to knock out some of these bottom ones because as you guys can see right now, we're kind of top heavy. So I'm trying to knock out some of these bottom ones. So we're coloring in box 100. Ooh wee. And I love to color you guys. So that's why I have all these like coloring ones. Do you like, I don't know, I have so many questions for you guys, but do you just scribble in your savings trackers or do you actually like to color it? I'm one of those people who really likes to color it and take my time. So the 100 is getting stuffed and that is what this 100 will be for. And I'll just put it right here. The next box we're gonna be coloring in is 98 and I'm also gonna put in that 100. Look how old this 100 is, you guys. I love it, I love unique stuff like this. So 98 is also getting colored in and that is just, I'm just gonna put in 100 cause I don't wanna put in too many bills. And it's always better to have more. So let's color in 98. Beautiful, beautiful. How have you guys been in this beautiful fall time? I hope everybody's been good and really enjoying the weather. The next box we're gonna do is box 10 and that is obviously just getting a $10 bill. So let's go ahead and color that bad boy. Number 10. I'm gonna be so happy when this is filled out. Like you guys don't even know. I look at this so often, at least like four times a week. <laughs> I just look at the savings tracker just to see what we're, how we're doing, where we're at. I'm just so infatuated with cash stuffing right now. I, I be watching all y'all channels. So if you have like a channel, please like comment down below what your channel is and if you want me to go watch it because I absolutely love watching cash stuffing videos. It's like my nightly routine at this point. And then the last one we're gonna be doing is box 16, and I believe I'm doing $20 for that one. So let's go ahead and put aside our $20, and we're gonna color in box 16. Oh, I wanna go do that one green. Where is green? Here we go. I should not be changing my mind like that, but it's okay. So there we go. Y'all, the it's starting to look like some. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, it's starting to look a little like something. So this is the current state of our tracker. At the end of this tracker, you do save $2,756. But obviously I've been rounding up and down, so it might be more, it might be less. We'll just have to see, but let's do a grand count of our savings. So I did make some placeholders because obviously I'm going to want this to accure interest as you know, I'm finishing it out. So these are just some savings tracker. I mean, not savings trackers, some placeholders that I made. Let me know what y'all think. Like, do you guys think these are cute? <laughs> I don't know. I get so bored at work when my clients cancel. I work with kids with autism and they started school. A lot of my clients have started school. And so, you know, they're either getting sick or they don't feel well for me to like do session with them. So in the meantime, I do stuff like this. So let me know what you guys think about these placeholders. It just says in the bank and it is like a laminated kind of thing. So that's what that is. 
but yes because i knew i was like you know what i'm i'm gonna be um changing these out pretty frequently and depositing it into the bank so i want to make sure i want to make sure you know we're covered we're good to go so and then our fives okay that is a lot i feel like we're 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 getting somewhere in these savings challenges okay so let's do a grand count so we have 100 200 in my high yield savings account 300 400 20 30 40 50 65 75 6 7 8 9 80. if i believe i believe that is 580 480 oh my god y'all i can't count <laughs> Okay, let's redo it for real. So we have 100, 200 in the savings account, 300, 400, 20, 430, 440, 450, 465, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. So yeah, 480 is currently in our savings. We're so close to $500, you guys. Oh, $500 towards our down payment on our house. So that is just awesome because I did not expect for us to be, you know, any at least saving for a house at this point. So that is gonna wrap it up for today's cash stuffing. I hope y'all really enjoyed today's video and stuck around with me um, because as you guys know, we're building a loving and supportive community. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you are looking to um, kind of support me in any way. Like I said, I do have another channel, so please go ahead and check that one out. It's always linked down below. I try to link down all my binders and all my supplies, so also feel free to check out my description for that. But let's just do some money affirmations before we go. You are wealthy, you are enough. Money does not determine your value as a person. You mean a lot and you can always come out of nothing. One reason I love mushrooms is because they thrive in the darkness when things get dark, when things are kind of muggy and, you know, not looking the best. Something so beautiful and so cute like mushrooms can come out of it. So make sure you're that fun guy and you always show up and show out. Go ahead and make that money this week. Be smart about your decisions. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next cash stuffing. Feel free to leave me a comment and chit chat with me. I love to talk to you guys. But yeah, Genesis is out and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, you guys. See you later.